What is up? Welcome everybody. You're here with a Brothers Forge Gaming. What we got for you today is Castle of No Escape 1 and 2. Available as downloads on the PlayStation Store. Get them while they're hot. Under a dollar a piece. Grab them up on that end of the year sale and get yourself two of the easiest Platinums you'll ever get. Not to mention two rather not bad games. Let's get right into it. As you can see, you can choose between three different characters. Part of the Platinum is playing with each character. Most of it's self-explanatory. You play through the game, you get the trophy. Let's go ahead and go with the champion here. So, those of you familiar with old school dungeon crawling games, old PC games, you might feel right at home with this game. It's actually a lot of more interesting <laughs> than it might seem. Uh, if you've played and enjoyed a game such as Minesweeper, uh, this kind of really reminds me of that. Now, as you, as you progress through the map, you uncover different things, treasure chests, monsters. Uh, you get these flares that are super useful. Uh, this game is hard as nails. I don't even know. That's a good thing you don't have to beat it to like get the platinum because it's pretty rough. Um, but that gives you a reason to keep coming back and playing it. If you can beat this game, <laughs> let me know. It's really tough. But kind of run through there. You can fight, you can run, you can cast. So it's Cobalt, uh, try to kill him, took him down, got some gold. Um, you know, also kind of reminds you of text-based games from the past. So you can go up and down stairs. We can try to blast this. Ogre 25 missed me. I don't know what that other spell does, but it can instantly kill you, so I don't use it unless I have to. A vendor, but I don't believe we have much money. I'm too poor, of course. So I'm gonna run 999 health. Uh, how you even beat that? I don't know. Surprised it didn't kill you. I'm still too poor. So apparently, as you progress through the game, you can find these crystals that make you all powerful. I've only found a couple of them. Oh, great. Attract chest. Just what you want. As far as I know, you can't level. You just get gold and buy gear. But again, to get the platinum, you don't really have to... Oh, good. Empty and it explodes. One gold. Not even worth it. Oh, shoot. My cast missed it, huh? Tim, did it give it life? Oh, geez. Gonna die. Right, nine gold. Look, awesome. Better armor, yeah. Okay. Looks aggressive. Sign. <laughs> Useless poetry. Feel weaker, nice. Okay, we stronger. So those are hit and miss events. Oh great! So you can also randomly get teleported way out of your league. So I'm up on a plus four. Yeah, he's gonna kill me. I could try to web him and run away. buy some life there. You need to go downstairs. Flares are nice because it shows you what's where. <laughs> I think that chest was trapped and killed me. Not sure what happened there, but uh, there you go. That's a look at Castle of No Escape, the first one. Whether there's more to it than that, I couldn't really tell you. The game is super tough, uh, but it's actually, for what it is, not a terrible game. And... It's a big challenge if you enjoy challenging yourself and you want that uh, the thrill of victory, this game will give it to you. But also, if you're just looking for a quick platinum, 
not a bad game to add to your library to go back to and mess around with. You never know when you're going to want to play a game like this. Plus, like I said, that super easy platinum bolster your stats. Not a bad little soundtrack on this thing either, like this jam. So, uh, <laughs> all right, well, that's it. Make sure to stick around. We're going to review Castle of No Escape 2. It's a lot different, but still a lot the same. All right, right here, Castle of No Escape 2, as promised. As you can see, we got a little bit of an upgrade for the sequel here, graphically and gameplay-wise, which we're going to get into right now. Same beat, a little bit of a remix, jaunty tune. So, I don't know what the ritual is. Difficulty, so you can actually change what I found interesting here. Uh, is you can change it from PAL to NTSC, which the uh, NTSC version is the hard version, and the PAL is the easier version. You can change some of the different stuff as well. So, <laughs> interesting there, right? So you can switch that up if you're having trouble how they did that that way. Usually, ports to the US typically, see if you look at the stuff, some of them were easier, some of them were harder. Kind of hit and miss there. Uh, but apparently to this game, the NTCS versions are the harder ones. <laughs> Although that's not usually true for Castlevania games. Usually the Japan release of those ones are a lot harder than you get here in the States. But here we go, Castle of No Escape 2. Another relatively quick platinum to get. I think you do it in under 10 minutes. You basically just get it for playing through the game. You don't even have to beat it. You just play around in the game a little bit. Now, there are some unlockable characters, it looks like. Three additional characters that you could unlock by playing through, but essentially, you get a caster, a ranger, and a guardsman. So let's go with the guardsman. Keep it simple. Now, this one you get a lot more freedom of choice in terms of you get to move around and choose your way you're going. Versus the other one, you're kind of blind. Whoa. What the hell is that? Yeah. Uh, again, this one is really simple to get the platinum. Whoa. Comparatively to the other game. Well, to most games, actually. Both of them. Castle of the No Escape 1 and 2. You just gotta play, just for a little bit. But, also not bad games hiding underneath. This one I think is a little bit more playable. 4, 2, and 5. In terms of... You have a little more control of your destiny in this one. The other one, it's all random luck, of course, but... This one allows you to kind of move around, dodge your enemies, Run away without taking damage if you're crafty like that. Potion. I want to say falling in that water will probably hurt you. Maybe not. Nope. All right, you get a similar mini map, which helps you make it through the game. Oh, you can shoot that way. What's that? Oh, stairs. Okay, so already moving up to the next level. Probably not the best idea. 
Unless... I think that's actually the only way we could go. Oh, damn, I hate spikes like that. <laughs> Just a vendor? No? Oh, nothing for me. Yes. I don't have enough gold, though. So, similar sprites. A little bit better uh, graphics overall in this one. You know, more going on. So, if you like the first one, I'd imagine you're definitely going to enjoy this one. More stairs. Oh yeah. I have no armor, so maybe that's an, an armor upgrade right there. Why oh, not? Let's take this, see where it goes. Floor three. Warping all over the place. Gem of Remember. Book stuck. Useless poetry. Ah. Took my, uh, took the ability to use my weapon. So, it must have broke my weapon, something. Wow. I have lost, so getting wrecked. Warp into dangerous floors. Not really sure what happened there. But like you can see, this is, there's no trust in this castle. Press X. So as you can see there, quick look at the game. Uh, what you see is what you get. Does it get more in-depth than that? I don't know. Again, it's a pretty tough game. You gotta go through, it's random chance. But you will get that platinum, play through with each of those characters, uh, just mess around a little bit, and that's gonna pop for you right away. Um, and on top of that, like I said, these games are on sale for under a dollar a piece in the store right now and probably often. But worth it for what you could get it for, definitely. A fun game to try out. Is it is it blowing any doors down? Is it, is it making changes to the genre? Not really, but if you like games like this, no reason you won't like Castle of No Escape 2 and also try the first one. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with us here at Brothers Forge Gaming. That's a quick look at a couple games to get yourself boost your stats, get yourself a couple platinums right out the gate. Make sure to come on back and check us back for more. I've got a couple more games to review, a couple quick Platinums, and also check out our entire Platinum Trophy Guide playlist for more fun games to play that you can get yourself a Platinum status on.